Okay. My silly camera shut off, so we're going to begin where we left off on my dip. Okay, I got my floral design down. I put the blank one on top. Gentle pressure. And then we're going to take something flat. I use an old gift card and um, get under your wood frame because the canvas goes all the way to the edge. Okay, and just swipe back and forth. I've had back surgery and I can't bend, so let me squat down here. Okay. And for any of you just tuning in, someone uh, on a pouring site asked me how I did that when I did some dips. So I'm doing a dip video so I can post it on that site. It's going to be in two parts because my stupid technology cut off on me. So as you can see, I'm just going back and forth like that. I'm getting underneath the, cam or the wood frame. And then I'm going to do it the other direction as well. Back and forth. If you don't do it enough, you're going to have blank spots on your canvas. And you're going to say, hey, what's that void right there? It happened to me yesterday with a 16 by 20 that I did. So um, I just pulled out my dandy card and made some little swipes through it and uh, fixed it so I didn't have to scrape. Okay, so we've done this. I get really good. Just don't press too hard, you know, because you don't have to be a muscle man or woman to do it. Just a just regular gentle pressure. Okay. I like to feel it with my fingers too and feel like there's any blobs or anything. So we got that. All right. And then um, you can pick up from it any way you want. You know, you can flip up that way. You can flip it from the side, flip from the top. Well, my flowers are up here, so I'm going to flip that towards me. All right. And there's a little bit of a suction to it, so... You want to do it quickly and firmly, but you just don't want to do it too fast and have paint flying everywhere. And there's going to be some leakage, and that's okay. Alright. I squeezed it a little bit, but I got it. Okay. So here we have it. You don't want to tip it. It'll drip. Okay, that's what we got right there. And then you look at it, and you're going to see some air bubbles. And uh, some ripples and stuff. The ripples are cool. That's the pattern. It's already forming cells. Um, what we're going to do is just uh, take the torch to it to remove any air bubbles. Get my handy dandy torch. Watch your flame size. You don't want to burn the paint or your canvas. And um, the torch will probably help the cells grow as well. Um, I'm just getting the bubbles out and um, I now use flow troll and water I used to use glue and water as my pouring medium and for almost a year that was great and everything and I used a cheaper paint um, but now I use a better quality paint right now I'm using master's touch but I'm also going to try Arteza and um, artist love some of the other ones I just haven't done it yet because I don't have access to craft stores like the city folk do okay um, but anyways uh, Whatever you use, it just takes a little practice. You can do it. So, um, let me give you a quick air overview. And then I will post for my friends. All right. I don't know. You're probably seeing this upside down. I don't know if this will help. Hang on. Ha! Hang on. I don't know if this made it any better or not. I don't understand technology. But here we go, close-ups, and as this sets, the cells may or may not grow bigger. With Floetrol added, um, it does react better because it's a paint conditioner, and it's a self-leveling chemical. So, it works a lot better than my glue water did. So anyways, that's how you do a dip, y'all. This was part two. Stay safe, stay healthy, but don't be afraid to see your friends and family. Check you later. Bye-bye.